All right, guys, they're playing some uh, Fiora top lane in this patch, and I'm going to showcase you guys exactly how you can carry on Fiora. So this game, we're playing Fiora against a Yasuo, and what we're running is Grasp, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Metaflow, and then we're also running Scorch. We're playing with the Grass page and a Mana Flow with Scorch because we want to have the strongest lane we can possibly have. The best way to do that is by simply having that. You also have the option to go um, for the Conquer page. But that one is like a little bit more situational. It's better for like the long fights, but if you want the strongest lane possible, that's what I... Uh, grass is what I always recommend. Nice Brock. Yasuo matchup is an interesting one. You might not be you might not believe this, but Yasuo actually is one of the more stronger level ones out there. Actually beats Fiora in the level one because he can auto Q all the time. And the third Q like pretty much beats everybody with a little tempo. You gotta be very careful when you um, when you play against the Yasuo. Especially like the first couple levels. There you go. Always respect the Yasuo, guys. Can't stress to say, you know, can't stress enough to tell you. It's uh, pretty strong. Let's see if we can stack the wave up here. We want to put the wave in a more healthy spot. If the wave starts stacking up in my favor, we actually win the match up very easily. So we're going to be looking into building the wave as big as we can make it. That will give us a lead very easily. Well, you're dead. Goodbye. The most important thing, guys. I talk about this every single video. All the time. Just never, like... I don't think I've ever, like, not spoken about it. Stacking waves, man. The best way to win lane. Seriously. If you stack waves... So you... The more waves you put together... Like, in simple words, right? The more waves you have, the harder you win. Not just through 1v1ing, like that's obvious. But if you stack the wave and you push that into their tower, you can then say you can roam, you can buy items, you can get advantages in, in every single way possible. There's so many ways, right? Always look to stack waves. It's the best thing about the lane. Like either freeze or stack. Like choose carefully. Do, do not, like, push without thinking about it. It's very important. It makes laning so much easier, right? Got a nice Q off here. Nice. There's the new new fighting Maokai. So we have to pay close attention here. Let's see what's going on. Turns out that new is walking away. Sure. Oh, another Q. We're farming the grass brocks. I need to reset my uh, thing real quick. You can do that easily by walking out of the outside of the direction. You see? If you walk out of range, um, it will always reset and put it back in your favor. Like That's like one of the top secrets about Fiora. You gotta know this type of stuff when you play the champion. It will make things far easier. You see? It resets again. You just gotta walk outside of range. Check this out. We're gonna walk out of range, look. Walk out of range, walk back in. Look where it's gonna spawn. There you go. Free damage. Super powerful tactic, man. Ooh, nice Q. I mean, I could have parried, I suppose, but... Oh, nice. Not bad. I want to use my parry as like a damage tool here. Not bad, man. Oh, another one. We'll play, we'll play. I gotta see if I can shove this properly. He's uh, pushing the wave back in his favor right now. I don't like that idea. I gotta be careful right here. Wait a second. Get that auto reset. There you go. So if you pay very close attention to how I played that out... I went for like an um, like an like a Q. I press my auto in between my E as well. So I auto like, wait a Q auto E to try and maximize my damage output in a very short time. If you can, always look to 
you know, auto E. That way you can dish out like twice the amount of damage. Like no matter how you use your combo, no matter like what situation you're in, try to like fit in an extra auto attack. Like you can dish out so much more guys. Never miss that auto attack. The auto attack literally makes a difference between winning or like losing a matchup. It's super, super important, man. I can't like talk about it enough either. Auto E, like it's the same thing with a lot of champions. Like think about Gwen too, right? Gwen has like an auto E too. Super important. Uh, Garen too, auto Q. Look for it all the time. It's so much better. <clears throat> it makes such a dramatic difference in the, in the amount of damage you're doing in a short period of time. This guy is smart. He went for Berserker's Grease Rush. Oh, that's cute. Nearly worked out. Well, I got my parry available, so... Nice. Got an extra Q off. Maybe not a Grass Brock, but it's still damage. Even if you don't get the Grass Brock, it's all good. This one, yep. Okay, let's stack the wave. Uh, Yasu is probably going for the camp in the in the river, so that doesn't necessarily mean that we want to shove instantly. We still want to stack the wave up. Okay, seems like he is rotating, so we will take care of the wave real quick. And before we decide to go back, I want to try and proc my demolish. Now you might think like, oh well, Yasu is getting kills, right? That's bad for you. Now, not really. This is actually really good. I'm happy that Yasu is doing this. Sounds a bit weird, I know. But this is really good for my lane because... Uh, Yasuo is no longer getting the XP here, and on top of that, I'm getting the plates for myself. Um, so even though Yasuo is getting these kills, it does not really matter. He's not getting ahead from making this play right here. Um, the worst case is that my teammates are dying once, but I am making such a big lead right here for shoving this lane out, that it actually, in theory, it doesn't make any difference for my teammates either not really i'm getting to way too much out of this this is very 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 good okay and we got every single plating now i'm gonna go back to base here because i think that yasu is going for the reset which is good because the wave is bouncing back into me, which means that Yasu is going to lose even more. So let's go for that one. Um, we'll sell this so I can go for an extra long sword. Nice. So far, we uh, it's looking. Uh, oh wow, I'm not moving. It's so far, it's looking pretty good right now. Um, only bad thing is that my teammates have died quite a bit since then. Let's see here. I've already got the fine, so if he also makes it back right now, um, we're going to have a very easy time. Even though he he has the three kills, he's not like he's not going to be mega far behind, but we definitely have a small lead on him right now. Um, plus, we have the wave still in my favor because it's like bouncing back to me. I should have ulted. Yeah, I should have ulted that one. I still have the chance. Yeah, there you go. Now we shove. I might not have the chance to fully shove this out, though. Yeah, I'm not going to shove it because I think... I think there's somebody rotating up here. Wait. Let's hold it. Yeah, I told you. There's going to be somebody here.
Well, that canceled my Q. I think I can kill him. Yeah, two kills. Sure. That was a uh, very important moment right there, because if I died by Yasuo, it would be over. Because I'm the only guy in this game that is actually having a good game. My teammates are struggling. If I lose or make one mistake, this game is going to go bad really quickly. So it's good that we actually catch him right there. If Yasuo killed me there, it would have been F this game would be uh, would be going downhill pretty quickly. Also killed the uh, jungle, by the way, so we got like multiple kills out of this one. Not that bad. Let's go back here. Hello there, Kuma. Hey, thank you for the subprime. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back, man. So let's go for Tiamat. And let's go for that one as well. I need to make it back top lane really fast because otherwise I'm going to start losing plates. He will get some plates. There's no doubting it. Quick question. Do you think that Aurelia top is still viable? Sure. In fact, it's like one of the best blind picks you can have. Yeah. If you don't know what you're up against, it's a pretty solid pick. Did I really miss that one? Kidding. I got no boots. Oh, he felt it. Too bad for you, buddy. That's a Yasuo dash that is not easy to do. A lot of people fail that, uh, fail that dash. Let's uh, shove this out. We're getting pretty close to my item, by the way. If I can get Hydra, then I'll be uh, <laughs> a very happy guy. Having uh, f uh, Fiora with Define and Hydra is so good. Especially when you get Elite early, you get the items fast. We can uh, shove another one because we know where people are. We see a Maokai in bot lane plus a Yone vein, which means that two people are missing at most. And I should be able to 1v2. Like... I can dive this guy, but... Oh. Well. <laughs> Smart guy. He's staying within that position where I just can't reach out to him. I could technically, I could just walk in, hit R, do the full combo as quickly as I can. Probably kill him for that, but it's going to turn... You know, it's going to get risky pretty quickly because I don't have proper vision on where everybody else is. If I run into a second guy... Like, and then die for that. Again, like, I'm worth, like, 1,000. If I feed away one kill to Yasuo, it's going to be, um... The game is going to go bad real real fast, so... I can't take that risk, man. It's too risky. Nice play. The wave is bouncing into me, so... He's losing the XP. I missed that one. Wow. I've got you. I think I'm going to reach out to him, but I... I'm going to try not to get caught by Qs. Ah, it expired. Sure. We uh, need to get our hands on this Drake. Let's see. I want to... Mm. I need, I need to stay around, unfortunately. I want to go topside, but I it's not a good idea if I do so. Somebody is going to walk up here, and I'm going to kill that person. I don't know who it is, but I think it's Yone. Precision. No, turns out Yone is going this direction. Yep.
Did I call? Uh, did I call? But uh, I don't know. I should have parried, possibly, because I could have all end. I should have parried that one too. Parry straightforward if I knew it. Okay, time to reset. I'm gonna ask Nuni to go top for me. Got him. I think I can reach out to this guy too. It really depends, but I don't have my W. Oh. Oh man. This is actually so bad. I mean, we're getting we're getting out and fortunately it's going well for us, but I am not happy with how this uh Still getting them. I cannot believe we're getting kills like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Alright. <laughs> Time to go back. Unbelievable. So let's uh, let's get steel caps. Very important. And well, actually, I have a better idea too. Let's go blade. This might sound pretty bad, but what I have in my mind is I want to proc my blade when I go in. Um, it's gonna help me with the you know kiting. It's gonna help me probably get even more kills. Um, they are a full AD team, so getting a death stance is very important, but I'll definitely get the support item. But I don't need death stance right now, I don't think so. I think Blade is going to fit perfectly in this game. I can just chase better. Even more damage. Oh, we missed that one. Whoops. Drake spawns in 1 minute uh, 30, so we're about to get into a fight again. Let's take this wave here. Oh, we're about to get a catch here, I think. I did- yeah. Get it! You're dead. Well, not dead yet, I guess. Uh, gotta stop tanking. Oh, this guy is going. Yeah, he's gonna die. Well, that's an hit right there. Yep. Uh, let's get ourselves the Drake right now, and then we can, you know, progress. You know, get the. Uh, I think I'm, I think she's gonna kill. I don't know. I sort of knew. Wasn't hard to tell. Oh, 
my teammates are not paying attention at all. Like, at all. There's an AD carry splitting when the Drake is alive. My AD carry is not paying attention. This is bad. This is about to be 4 against 5. Had no AD carry. Plus 4 against 5. If I don't do something, they will steal the Drake. Wow, I don't really know what to say. That was so that's so sad. It would have been better if I just let uh, give the Drake away to be honest. It would have been better. Far better. Just accept that my AD carry is making a stupid play and then move on. Would have been so much better. I I pinked like I pinked so much. Before I, I started question pinging the AD carry, I pinged so much that I couldn't ping anymore. Like, I reached the limit of pinging. That's how much I pinged. I think I sent, like, a total of 18 pings. I pinged six times for Drake, then I waited another time, we pinged again six times, and then I started question pinging AD carry, and then he started moving. Like, it took him that long to move Drake. Like, I think I pinged for, like, almost 50 seconds there. Like, close to it. I, I, to be honest, like, Riot needs to add more pings. Like, change the limit. Make it so you can ping even more. Like, sometimes people need it, man. Sometimes people just don't pay attention. No matter how often you ping. I feel like six pings is not enough sometimes. The only ping that... You, you know what? Like, the only ping that people listen to is when you question ping somebody. Only then they will pay attention sometimes. Like you saw that with the the, the AD carry, I start I start like question pinging and then he responded. Interesting, right? Like I I understand why people are question pinging each other nowadays because that's how you get a reaction from somebody. That's the only way, actually. Sometimes they just don't pay attention. It's sad because like question pinging somebody is referred to flaming, I guess, but. Oh, I'm not catching it. I have the... Um, I have the split in Balling, which is really good. But because my team is spread out across the entire map, we're not getting anything from enemy team like collapsing on me with like five people. Like... They're spread out so much. Like, this is actually a free Baron right here. We we got a Nunu on the team. Th these guys don't even know that... There, there's a Contra Ward right there. Look how much time there is. They, these guys don't even react to it. Oh, I think we're going to lose the Baron right now. They figured out that they're doing it. Took way too long. Or maybe, maybe they get to do it. Yeah, I'm making it in time. I think this is going to be a great fight. Yeah. This is pretty good. <laughs> the flash that came after. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm not gonna lie to you, this game would have been so much easier if it was played better macro-wise. Like, I'm gonna be truly honest with you. If, if this game was played macro-wise, like, really well, it would have already been... Over? What? That spawn? Oh, they go for surrender after! The, the tower was back! The inhib respawn, bro! They surrender. This game was not done. It was not over. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright. Hey, anyway, this is for your top.
Thank you so much for watching today's video of it. And I'll see you next time. Peace.